We are following the breaking news out of Washington, D.C. As we reported at the top of this newscast, the Justice Department has now appointed former FBI head Robert Mueller as special counsel. He will oversee the investigation into any possible connection between President Trump's campaign and Russia during last year's election. The announcement comes after the president fired James Comey as FBI director. CBS4 political specialist Sean Boyd following it all. Sean, Comey has now been asked to testify before a House Oversight Committee next week. And, Jim, it will be the first time we have heard from him since he was fired. His termination and reports the president tried to shut down his investigation into possible ties between the administration and Russia, part of the Justice Department's decision to appoint a special prosecutor. M Mueller will have the power to subpoena and prosecute any crimes he uncovers. President Trump used a Coast Guard graduation ceremony as the latest backstop to blast the media, saying no politician in history has been treated worse than him. Never, ever, ever give up. Things will work out just fine. Look at the way I've been treated lately especially by the media. The speech comes amid media reports of a damning memo by former FBI Director James Comey. In it, Comey reportedly claims the president asked him to drop an investigation into ties between Russia and former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. The White House denies it. There's an FBI investigation going on right now. Republican leaders question why Comey didn't come forward himself, but are calling for all evidence in the investigation. I'm a person who wants to get the facts. That is our job, to be sober, to be dispassionate, and to get the facts and to do our jobs and, and follow the facts wherever they may lead. The White House is obstructing our investigation, covering up for General Flynn, and refusing to provide not a single document, not a single syllable. Zilch. Three congressional committees have now requested the Comey memo and any documents the White House might have detailing conversations between Comey and the president. Jim. Sean, thanks very much.